Okay, part 2 of 5 is ovipari, ovovivipari, vivipari. Okay, reproduction in vertebrates, life sciences, grade 12. Okay, there are three reproductive strategies in which the needs of the developing embryo can be met. One is ovipari, sometimes known as oviparity. Two is vivipari, sometimes known as viviparity. Three is ovovivipari, sometimes known as ovovivipariti. Okay, so we are going to see these three reproductive strategies. Okay, we start with one, ovipari. Okay, in the words ovipari, you have ov meaning eggs. Okay, of meaning eggs. Okay, oviparous animals lay fertilized eggs outside the female's body. The fertilized eggs result from internal or external fertilization. When you look at these two examples, you can see that, okay, in example number one, you have these eggs. They are the result of internal fertilization. You know that, right? The male deposited the sperm inside this female and that led to the production of these fertilized eggs. In this one, you have external fertilization and the eggs that are going to be formed in this one will be the result of external fertilization, okay? Internal or external fertilization, okay? So in both cases, you have oviparous animals, okay? This is an example of ovipary, okay? So now let's carry on. The developing embryo is inside the fertilized eggs that is outside the female's body. Okay. The developing embryo will develop inside these eggs that are outside of the female's body. Even in this one, when you are going to have the eggs after fertilization, the developing embryo will be inside these eggs but outside the female's body. Okay. So this is what we have to know about ovipary. The fertilized eggs are laid in water or on a land okay in this example you can see the fertilized eggs are laid on a land in this example you can see the fertilized eggs are laid in water okay you also have other aquatic animals like crocodiles okay they lay their eggs on land even though they are living in water so this is what we have to know about ovipary okay now we are going to look at number two vivipary okay number two vivipary sometimes known as viviparity okay in the words vivipary you have vivi meaning born life okay vivi meaning born life okay let's see vivipary viviparous animals give birth to live young okay viviparous animals give birth to live young for example when you look at example number three you can see this is a cow and this is a viviparous animal, okay? It has given birth. So this is a live birth, okay? Viviparous animals give birth to live young, okay? And the young develop inside the mother and are protected by a body during development, okay? Let's carry on. The mother provides nutrition to a unborn young by way of the placenta, okay? This Reproductive strategy results from internal fertilization. Okay, the male deposited the sperm inside the female and that led to the production of this young. Okay, and vivipary is found in almost all mammals. However, there are also some viviparous animals that are not mammals. Okay, for example, scorpions are viviparous animals and they give birth to live young. Okay, now let's look at number three. Okay, number three, ovovivipary, sometimes known as ovovivipariti. In the words ovovivipary, you have ovo meaning eggs and vivi meaning live birth. Okay, live birth. Okay, let's look at ovovivipary. Ovovivipary can be considered a combination of ovipary and vivipary. Okay, you have live birth and you have laying of eggs. But ovovivipary, they don't lay eggs. They keep their eggs inside the female's body. Okay, we are going to see that. In ovovivipary, fertilized eggs stay inside the mother's body. This is what we have to know. 
they don't lay their eggs. The eggs stay inside the mother's body and this reproductive strategy results from internal fertilization. The eggs hatch inside the mother's body and the young are born live. Okay, so you have ovo, eggs, vivi, live birth. Okay, an example is this one of a snake giving birth to live young. You can see. So after the eggs have hatched inside the mother's body, now the mother is giving birth to live young. Okay, so this is an example of ovo vivipari. Okay, so you have an example of ovo viviparous animal. Okay, so we are done with part two of five. Okay, until next time, I will talk to you soon.